हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माय सेशन ऑन एसडीएन एसडीएन विद व्हाइट बोर्ड एंड टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी हाई लेवल ओवरव्यू अबाउट द एसडीएन एसडीएन इज क्वाइट टेस्टेबल इन द एग्जाम स्पेशली व्हेन इट कम्स टू सीआईएसएसपी सिक्योरिटी प्लस सीसा सीजम सीसीएसपी बट मोस्ट प्रोबेबली आई हैव सीन सम फीडबैक ऑन सीसीएसपी सीआईएसएसपी सिक्योरिटी प्लस इवन इन सीईएच इट इज दिस टॉपिक इज क्वाइट टेस्टेबल my this video at least establish some kind of a foundation of sdn for you and based on that you can do the further analysis but i'm sure those who are ciisp or ccsp aspirant based on this video they can able to handle all the question on sdn topic and based on that they can able to have a better understanding that i will show you <coughs> so when you're talking about the sdn question is why people or why organization using sdn before going to understand why organization using sdn first we try to understand what is the traditional networking and how sdn replaces the traditional networking and why is the need of sdn in the organization now if we take example of a traditional network this is my computer a this is my computer b and there we have a routers router 1 router 2 router 3 router 4 now we have a four routers and they have their own ips also 1.1.1.1 1.1.1.2 same like we have a multiple ips now if computer a sending a data to router okay so computer a sending a data to the router now router basically use his routing protocol details or routing table details and based on that he will forward the information to this router 2 router 2 have their own forwarding plane it having its own brain we call brain and from his brain he will check what is the best route and based on that he will forward to the next router and this router based on the defined route he will forward to the next system so here what happen is this router use his brain to process the information he use his own brain to process the information he use his own brain to process the information he use his own brain to process the information this is what is happen in that distributed network this is also called as a distributed network because he have a configuration of the predefined route he will follow that he will not depend on any other system whatever the routes he has he will follow that route and based on that he will deliver the packet to the next router based on that route now this is basically create a lot of difficulties now just imagine if we have a thousand systems or 2000 systems okay or 2000 router 3000 routers it is difficult to manage those things so to overcome that we introduce the sdn now what is happen in the sdn now what is happen in the sdn same network we have a router 1 we have a router 2 we have a router 3 and they are connected but this time instead of they decide they decide their own brain to process an information we introduce one thing which is basically called as a control plane boss you will not going to decide okay to which router you will process the information it will be decided by me and that is called as a control plane so far what happened he was applying his own brain he was applying his own brain he was applying his own brain but now control plane is the one who will decide their own brain he has its own brain and based on that he will control these devices so this is called as a this is called as a data plane and this is called as a control plane now on top of it we basically introduce the application plane now this application plane include your load balancer traffic engineering 
traffic forwarding or other functions so now what happened these routers follow the commands of the control plane but who will instruct the control plane i want between these two router load balance i want between these two router as a common route traffic so it is depending upon what kind of an application you hosted on this particular layer and that is why in the sdn we have a three component sorry in sdn we have a three component one is called as a application plane one is called as a control plane and one is basically called as a data plane all the physical devices are basically hosted on the data plane which is controlled through a control plane because now he has a brain he control the brain brain of all these routers he will decide how the traffic is need to be route through these routers or devices and under the instruction from an application plane so application plane has one of the function called load balance for traffic reengineering or traffic management so they will send the instruction to control plane okay you want the communication between these two router need to be defined we can do that you want these two routers to be work together we can do that because i have i have a brain of to manage all these devices because they will not going to follow their own instruction that will be followed by the control plane so summary is very simple and to the point so we have a router 1 we have a router 2 we have a router 3 and we have a now control plane and this is my data plane so control plane basically has a brain to manage all these devices so instead of router use their own brain own routing parameter and process the information they will follow the control plane whatever my control plane say i will follow same like whatever my boss say i will follow now it is this responsibility from the application plane what kind of instruction you need to drive you want a traffic reengineering okay i want the traffic to be more like this we can do that instruction come from the application plane process to the control plane by which we can able to mold the traffic between these two routers you want load balancer on the application plane send the instruction to control plane control plane decide okay you want a traffic reengineering between this we can do that if this lane if control plane is compromised the entire data plane is compromised so this is called your centralized networking model so sdn is called as a software defined networking it is an architecture designed to manage the networks dynamically it provide flexibility it provide scalability so this is all from my side if you like this video do share do comment and do share also your comment about what can be the next video we can create thank you